in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed the call tonight is the call of death i'm going to give you two prayer points and i want you to pray sincerely because i'm about to speak over your life i want you to find a corner and cry your heart lord everything i have exalted above you i dethrone it tonight be the center of my life someone is praying someone is crying to god Someone is crying. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified. For you to be lifted, all I want pray is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. Fill my life till all they see is you, Lord. Glorify your name. Fill my life till all they see is you, Lord. Glorify all I want is for you, for you to be glorified. For you to be lifted, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified. Be lifted high, be lifted high, for your glory. Lifted high, be lifted high, ah, be lifted high for your glory. Be lifted high, we lift you high, we lift you high for your glory. Lord, take everything. I surrender everything. Someone is praying. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, I'm withholding nothing. Two more minutes, withholding nothing. Give myself away. Share the Give myself away so you can use me. I give my heart away Give my heart away So you 
can use me Hallelujah. The last prayer point for tonight. You are going to pray. Father, the grace and the unction that must come upon my life and turn me into another man and shift me to a, a next dimension of prosperity. There is a mighty anointing happening to pastor's wife. There is a mighty, this, this, this conference tonight was designed by God's counsel. You see, God is touching people, but I see an unusual impartation. Fill me up, fill me up, fill me up, till I overflow. I want to run over, want to run over. Fill me up, fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over. Feel me, I'm coming. Feel me, I'm coming. Feel me, I'm coming. Feel me, I'm my prayer lord fill me up god fill me up god fill me up god fill me up fill me up fill me up god And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. I'm speaking to someone. God is about to shift you. I'm standing in this apostolic office by the privilege of God's grace. It's time to move you into a dimension in the spirit. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. I'm about to pray. Listen. Hallelujah. Pastor, sir, with all due respect, the Lord is giving me a prophetic word. Hear what the Lord is saying. The Lord is speaking three things. Number one, the Lord is saying he's multiplying the influence of Dr. Shola all over London. Yes, this is what God is saying. That he's giving you grace for kings. Grace for kings. You will raise kings. This is what the Spirit of God is telling me. And the Lord... Is telling me again that he's multiplying your honor for the Lord is saying I have seen your faithfulness even in the midst of fire this is what the Spirit of God is saying and that a thousand cubits has been measured for you and it's time to go deeper he will multiply your influence I'm seeing God raise strange people to stand by you financially strange people believe me to stand by you and lift up the ministry that the liberty church will become not just a place of transformation but a place of strange revival it will happen by the power of the spirit this grace you see tonight i will not go back with it it will rest with this church believe me
I want to pray. Please understand that this is not pride. It is the privilege of God's grace to carry this mantle for a generation. I'm not the only one. There are many scattered across Europe, Africa, and across. You have only met one of them. But tonight, if you will believe the words that I release upon you, hear me, London. I did not call myself. The grace you honor is the grace that comes upon you. I'm standing in my office and I'm declaring right now. Anyone called in ministry here, hear me. I'm about to extend my hand and let a strange grace for encounters and hunger at the count of three. Father, I pray all over London and everyone who is following online, America, Europe, Africa, Asia, in the name of Jesus at the count of three, let there be that impartation, a call, a call. I open up the wells, spring up the wells. One, get ready. Two. Three, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, I shift you by prophecy a new dimension in ministry. The healing anointing is coming on people right now. Take that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The grace for intercessors. This is what God is showing me. God is birthing intercessory ministries here tonight. I'm seeing many women in the order of Deborah. Where are they? London. I awaken Deborah's. I blow the shofar. I sound the alarm. In the name of Jesus. Deborah's arise. Deborah's arise. Women with the strength of nation. I call for warriors in the mighty name of Jesus who will stand at the gate like the wise men of Shiloh. I decree and declare that grace falls upon you. That grace falls upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is David? David. I'm hearing a name David you are holding the picture of someone called David who is that is a picture David is there someone like that you came with a photo look at this come what's his name David. David. son yes this boy is going to be a mighty man of God. Mighty, mighty, awesome God. How great our You alone, mighty are your miracles standing up of your home. Lord, we bow and worship. Hallelujah. I release grace upon that boy. Jonathan. Who is Jonathan? Jonathan. Where are you? You're a man of God. Are you Jonathan? Come. Your life is about to change. Come, sir. In this ministry, are you part of this ministry? Now, I'm going to pray for you. But you will go and Pastor Shola will lay hands. There is a grace on his life. Please forget about whether you know him or not. Just, just believe what I'm telling you. Hold my hand, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Grace, I shift you in the spirit. You step into a new dimension. Pastor, sir, as Pastor lays hands on you, 
there is an impartation of grace that is coming upon you hallelujah now hear me hear me there are people who are called into the prophetic ministry but there has been no one to open your heavens in that regard in the name of jesus i'm stretching my hands now from the front to the back the balcony everywhere i stand by the spirit lord anyone who is called to speak the purposes of god to the nations the seeing eyes and the hearing ear at the count of three that grace falls on you one two three take the prophetic take the prophetic strange dreams visions operations of the spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i want to pray our time is up but i will pray quickly before i pray for the sick i want to release the healing anointing you see we cannot lose the healing ministry the ministry of signs and wonders must be preserved he said except ye see miraculous signs and wonders you will not believe we live in an unbelieving generation that must see the signs in addition to the truth of god's word i am not ashamed of the gospel he says for it is the power of god i believe that there are people here who will carry that grace before i pray for the sick i want to release that grace now it has nothing to do with gender it has nothing to do with being a man of god it has everything to do with hunger father at the count of three everywhere within this auditorium lord there are people who have fasted and prayed for the grace genuine grace for the ministry of signs and wonders i stretch my hands at the count of three like the dew of hammon let it fall one parus kadasiata two get ready here it comes like a whirlwind three take that grace help them please help them my god take that grace take that grace from the front to the back take that grace up the balcony take that grace may that grace find you i shift you by the spirit new dimensions in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now come it's over new level you are trusting god for a miracle very quickly lay your hands lay your hands right there by the way i know that i have a few minutes left just a few minutes i'll do my best to wrap up but before i wrap up we will agree as a church and speak over the coronavirus we thank God for what the governments of nations are doing. But the church is the authorized entity to allow or disallow. And we're going to take our place tonight and send that virus back from where it came from. But I want to pray for the sick now. This is our final session. I know that many of you came trusting God for healing. Listen, miracles are real. Miracles are real. They are a manifestation of the mercy and the love of God. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up. Coming after me. No wall you will. Coming after me. All right, lay your hands there now. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. I want to pray for you now. I believe in miracles. You don't have to come out right where you are. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus I believe Jesus God is touching people there is healing in your name 
Now agree with me. In the name of Jesus. Come on, London. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command every devil of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I curse you. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity by the power that raised Christ. Help them, please. I command be gone now. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Now I declare over the sick. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every blood disease. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes. Open in the name of Jesus. Those who are on crutches or on a wheelchair. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Deaf ears. Partial total deafness. Be healed now. Ulcers of all sorts. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart palpitations. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every cardiovascular disease. Be healed from it in the name of Jesus. Every bone condition. In the name of Jesus be healed. Now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare healing for you now now i apologize in advance we may not have the time to take testimonies but you can always register your testimony i believe that there might be an email or or you can meet one of the officials and just let them know that this is what has happened to me there will be so many testimonies from this conference hallelujah hallelujah two more assignments and i'm done listen please listen very carefully prophecy is very powerful it not only reveals it can create the more superior dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension i demonstrated this yesterday the more superior dimension of the prophetic is the grace that makes us what has no business happening to happen by this time tomorrow he was not revealing what would happen he made it happen the lord wants to make things happen in our lives now and he said son of man can these bones live again and the prophet said only thou knowest listen the prophetic is powerful now i i know and i agree that it has been insulted here and there and there has been exaggerations and people have handled the prophetic without character and people have done a lot of things and even dabbled into all kinds of activities of divination i know the church is like a patient however christ is still in the midst of her but please do not make the mistake of believing that just because there are perversions here and there, every manifestation of the prophetic is ungodly. You are wrong if you think so. There are people who have paid the price and by the privilege of the election of grace, they've been vested with the ability to create possibilities over the lives of others. Can I pray for you? I stand as one who is sent by the privilege of God's grace in agreement with the angel over this house the man that God has set and so honored yet again tonight and in the name of Jesus I cry that my father who is my maker and the maker of men that he would hearken to every word now I decree over this auditorium London hear me I stand in the name of Jesus every closed door over your life over your destiny I speak a father be open a father be open be open be open be open, be open.
financial doors open. Spiritual doors be open. Career doors be open. I shift you by prophecy. Step into new levels. Step into new dimensions. I shift you overnight. Step into prepared blessings. Number two. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Listen. There are men called destiny helpers. They have an assignment. They are mandated and authorized to hold your hand and lift you to the next level. I prophesy to the north of London, the south, the east, the west, everywhere the helpers of your destiny are. In three months, 90 days, by the spirit of prophecy, like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom, I call them, show up now. Destiny help us, show up now. Destiny help us, show up now. Listen, once upon a time the Bible says, Elisha was with the sons of the prophet. And he said, where we meet with you is too straight. Let us go beyond the Jordan. And while they were felling the trees, the axe head fell. And he said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. Let me prophesy, because there are people here under financial pressure. And listen, I respect the laws of economics, but from scripture, every time a man was under any kind of pressure, it took prophecy to bring them out. Therefore, I speak to your bills. I speak to your finances. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, rise to a new level. I shift you to a new level. Please believe it. Financially, in the name of Jesus, I call for help us. I cause debt. I cause financial troubles. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please look at me. The psalmist said, Many a day that rise up against me. He says, Many a day that say, Where is your help? But then he says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. He says, You are my glory. Help me and the lifter of. I pray, Whatever has brought you down, in the name of Jesus, may the lifter of men lift you tonight may the lifter of men lift you tonight liberty church london rise to a new level hallelujah hallelujah revelation chapter one he said i john was in the spirit on the lord's day and he went to the throne room and then chapter one chapter 2 chapter 3 he had revelations but when we get to chapter 4 he hears a voice even in heaven and it says come up here no matter what level you have gotten to in life there is still space for more therefore i speak to you liberty church london europe in the name of jesus come up here rise to a new level arise shine arise shine Arise, shine, arise, shine in the name of Jesus. Listen, the donkey of Saul gets missing, and for three days they keep looking for that donkey and they cannot find it. And then the servant says, There is a man of God, Samuel. Let us go to that holy man of God. The moment Samuel meets David, Saul, he said, is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be king over Israel? And he pronounced three blessings. Number one, he said, the donkey that is missing has been back home. Let me call what has left your life that should not have left relationships, resources in the name of Jesus. 
everything that has left your life by the power of prophecy it returns back to you tonight it returns back to you tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah number two he told him he said as you go back you will see three men each holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give to you somebody say favor i decree and declare over your life someone must love you enough to invest in your success this season receive favor obtain grace and favor Esther 2 verse 15 I speak it over your life carry that anointing favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the evening in the name of Jesus number three he said you will come to the garrison of the Philistines and there the hand of the Lord will come upon you and when you read in the later verses they said is Saul also one of the prophets I want to speak over your life London as we wrap up this conference every dimension you have desired spiritually financially in the name of Jesus I agree with your pastor by the power that raised Christ from the dead receive that grace now help them please receive that grace now hallelujah let me give you two instructions number one please ensure that the fire on your altar never goes down some of you will need to go back home and husband wife you need to talk about it we must come up with a program for our spiritual development it is no longer going to be haphazard what do we do in the morning what do we do in the night some of you need to go back and come up with an intentional program for your spiritual growth you're not going to open the bible at random and just read anything no make up your mind to know the lord make up your mind to invest in your spirit make up your mind to buy books your pastor has got some books they are rich materials you can get it listen to it he says and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture that is able to make you wise unto salvation number two make up your mind that you're going to be connected as much as possible to what God is doing in and through this ministry you see let me tell you and and I believe this and this is not I've, I've not even spoken with pastor I believe listen to me I believe that God sends people to ministries and connects them there are we together now it is sometimes you can choose based on what you want I like this man but there is the connection of destiny you will need to locate yourself with the grace the grace that is responsible for your lifting when God called Samuel he used the voice of Eli he did not use an echo they that be planted in the house of God they shall flourish in the courts of our God even in old age the Bible says they will be fat and flourishing hallelujah praise the Lord our time is gone I've been instructed that I lead us to take our offering have we taken our offering let me bring out mine can you bring out your offering let me pray and speak over it remember that these things are done with understanding and with revelation please very quickly our time is up and then just the final word and we're done let me just pray because our time is done please bring out your offering I want to speak over it in the name of Jesus the son of the living God our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name our father hear us from heaven 
forgive our sins now two things very quickly if, if you need an, an offering envelope just just wave your hands and there's someone okay please help them they're officials please keep it keep it lifted keep it lifted and someone will reach you very quickly with an envelope now listen while this is happening i want to make an altar call spare me one minute we're doing all this at the same time it is important that we do this i want you to know that the foundation of the faith life is coming to jesus with brokenness to receive his life the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life there are two categories of people here tonight the first category is saying apostle he's saying apostle i really want to make it right with jesus all through the days of this conference and now tonight i do not want to wrap up this conference and go back the same there are others who are saying apostle i found myself loving the lord but for some reason my life has gone haywire and i need a restoration those two categories wherever you are i want you to take the bold step very quickly please come stand before me right now celebrate them as they come someone is running to jesus are you celebrating salvation please stand don't kneel because of space i have decided to follow jesus no turning back come no turning back i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turn keep coming celebrate them as they come i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back I salute and I celebrate please look at me just just a moment oh my god that adorable girl she's coming for the altar call too come Oh, I love this lady. Celebrate her. Come, come, darling. What's her name? Now, now listen to me. I really love children. And do you love me? I love you too. Thank you. Hallelujah. I pray. Where's the mom? Mom, where are you? please take care of this girl she's a gift don't cry I know the Bible says train up a child in the way he should go look at this adorable child loving Jesus serving Jesus only God can tell what she will become I, w I just I just brought her to just love on her and then to make it a lesson don't serve Jesus alone as for me and my house I pray for you my dear you will serve Jesus you will serve the God of your parents and I have a little gift for you do you mind this is for you thank you thank you now thank you I celebrate every one of you a card will be given am I right okay let me just have one okay um, I'm not sure do you have it I'm not sure they have it do they have a card okay a card will be given to you is a decision card please do well to fill it um, I don't know if you can do it immediately if you can get a pen please if you don't have a pen just wave your hands someone will reach you fill it legibly and um, I believe that your officials you'll give it to immediately but then I want to lead you thank you so much for the courage to come and to make this decision and I'm honored to lead you um, it's a noble decision it's a noble decision 
lift your right hand if you will please just suspend what you're doing for a moment lift your right hand let it be true let it be sincere you're not reciting a poem jesus is here let it be from the depth of your heart say after me every one of you standing we can back them up everyone say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i declare that you are my lord you are my savior you are my king i obtain remission of my sin and i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that from tonight i go forward ever and backward never amen and amen keep your hands lifted let me pray jesus i present to you the ones you died for and i thank you for drawing these ones no one can come to the father except by jesus i bless you the grace that keep may that grace keep you go from glory to glory in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen okay now all of you please this way all of you in concert just move to my left which is your right and just for two three minutes the officials will just help coordinate what you're doing please all of you let's celebrate them as they go everyone please everyone hallelujah now remember we're about to receive the offering uh let me just do this quickly i'm honored to have my my auntie and my uncle here it was a big surprise and please i want to honor i want you to help me and i love them very much and i'm honored they're somewhere here i believe please stand please stand that's my uncle my auntie mommy susan daddy isaiah i York. celebrate them do it for me celebrate them do it for me london oh please ask Okay, I'm told that they come forward. Please, let's honor them. Come on. Now, they are my parents here, so do it for me. Do it for me. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Amen. Hallelujah. Please lift up your offering. Lift up your offering and let us bless it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. I am so honored. So honored. So honored. Please celebrate them one more time. Thank you thank you thank you hallelujah please lift your offering and let me just speak over it the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency he says that you abound to all good works i speak over your offering i declare it blessed i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command your offering to go all around london to gather its kind and return to you a thousandfold in the name of jesus may your seed tonight bruise the head of the serpent by this seed i declare rise above financial shame rise above financial pressure in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen now let me just say something i just felt stirred up in my spirit that there are a few of you here the lord is going to place it in your heart this is this is something that just came just to bless pastor and tell him thank you after the service you can see him or and i just sense it in my spirit that there are people here that the lord will speak to this is this is not some fundraising no we are people of integrity but we are also people of truth the holy spirit just spoke to me that he is going to be leading some of you to just come and meet pastor and his wife to say thank you for the sacrifice of hosting this program this is what i have to just love on you to just celebrate you for making this happen and if that is you after the service or somewhere please just find the, the leaders would direct you on how to do it and let's just honor and bless this precious precious man of god we love him come on give it up for dr shola and his dear wife thank you hallelujah your offering is blessed in jesus name please pass it round. how do we pass it round? very quickly very quickly very quickly um ushers will come just be patient ushers will come while that is happening please listen this is my last night tomorrow i'm back but i want you to know first dr shola and your dear wife thank you for your love the hospitality you 
Liberty Church, you have an awesome team, the protocol, the, the, the worship team, my God. They call them the, the Liberty Sounds? The Sounds of Liberty. Hallelujah. I'm sure, I'm sure that um, one of these days we'll pick our own worship team and bring them here so that you will just have a concert in London and just, just shame the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. London, thank you. I'm always aware it's one thing to be called. It's one thing to be anointed. But when you have a generation believe in you, love you, many of you have gone so far to get our teachings to so many people. By the way, you can get all of our teachings. Go to koinoniadownloads.org. It's free. Just get the teachings. It's my contribution to the spiritual growth of a generation. So please do well to get the teachings. Listen to them for your spiritual edification. Are we together? London, I want you to know that I do not take your trust, your honor, and your love for granted. I love you with all my heart, and I decree and declare that you will go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. And for my uncle and my auntie, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you with all my heart. The Lord bless you. Thank you, London. God bless you. May the Lord amplify your voice. Amen. Come on, let's once again appreciate the grace of God upon Apostle Joshua Selman. How many of you would like him to come back to London? Okay, so we are trying to negotiate that, and when he comes back, we'll be at a larger venue. Amen. Amen. While he was ministering, I heard the Lord say, the revival continues. And so, I mean, he said, this was before he talked about the Olympic torch. The thing with the, the, the Olympic torch is someone starts the race, carries it and begins to go from place to place, lighting other people's torches. And he's dropped this torch in London. I listen to this. I carry that torch. By the grace of God. And I don't know who else wants to catch fire with me. Okay, so next Friday... We're going to do something. Um, I was scheduled to go to Houston with my wife to hold a Passion Weekend marriage conference. But thank God for Donald Trump. He, he's, he's banned U United Kingdom people from coming. Now I know why. We're back at the town hall in Stratford to continue the revival. Next Friday, we are, we are... Can you put it up on the screen? Yes. We're going to talk about the power of priesthood. Hallelujah. How to bring heaven into your situation. Whatever God has started here, that same anointing, we will continue to carry it. Hallelujah. And I see fire coming to your house. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not this Friday, the 27th. Not this one. Uh, we want you to rest. Uh, time, 6 p.m. Yeah, 6 p.m. next Friday, the, on the 27th. Amen. How many people will come and catch fire? Put up your hand. Shout hallelujah. Somebody say fire. fire. Amen. Can you stand up as we share the grace in fellowship? Can I ask you, don't hold anybody's hands. Uh -huh. But can you just face somebody and just... Oh, okay, don't face two because... <laughs> hey, okay, elbow like this because we want the power of agreement. Find and begin to prophesy concerning what you received here. The power of God is here, is moving right now. Begin to prophesy concerning what you received here that it shall multiply. It will not leave you. That you are going home impregnated and in the same way a woman carries seed for nine months and in the ninth month you see the manifestation as a full-grown baby 
Some people are going to give birth to twins. In fact, there is even an anointing for the fruit of the womb being released right now. An anointing for explosion of ministries. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. In next level anointing, man to say the Father Lord, whatever has been deposited here, give us the responsibility to navigate it. Let it not leave London. Let it not leave the United Kingdom. Release your fire over homes, over houses. Anoint them, Father Lord, for the grace of priesthood. To change atmospheres, change negative climates over families. Rebaros, mataka tizete parosoto, ma atesete parosoto. That same spirit that raised up Joshua Selman can raise five thousand more people like him. Lord, identify those people in this place. Let that mantle fall. The same mantle that came upon Elijah came upon Elisha twice as much. Rebatu soto pade. This is the day that you are raising, Father Lord, non-entities to become, Father Lord, mantere celebrities in the kingdom. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you all adoration. We thank you for your manifest presence in this place. We thank you in advance, Father Lord, for testimonies. Testimonies from afar. Testimonies from the U.S., Ukraine, Belgium, Germany, Africa, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Congo from the various parts of the world all those who will watch and be touched by this particular meeting we are praying for open doors doors that were shut they shift tonight in the name of jesus thank you that those who were unemployed will receive jobs we are thanking you father lord that those who struggled financially will receive help from afar we receive divine ideas we receive strange messages in mails and posts for your promotion for your advancement divine appointments we cancel satanic appointments anything that will cause you to stray or miss your way we cancel that appointment we release a grace for a takeoff in the name of Jesus this shall be your year of emergence this shall be your year of emergence this shall be your year of emergence in Jesus mighty name we have prayed may the grace of the lord be with you in jesus mighty name we pray god bless you and have a wonderful week ahead say hello to your pastors god bless hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching